Yes, hello, is this the metal removal man? Hello? Yes, metal removal man. Hello? Yes, are you the guy who moves metal? Damn it, do you speak English? Yes, 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 I don't know, sir. Alright, whoa, I'm going to give myself a stroke there for a second. Now listen, you remove all kinds of metal, different type of metal devices, etc., right? Yes, yes, yes. Alright, now listen. I just recently got into a fight with the owner of a carnival. He said my son was too Mexican for one of the rides. So I tell you, basically, I want to go. I want you to go down there with all your vehicles and trucks and take down the entire place. I mean, take down all the rides, take down all the stands, take down all of that metal stuff. Okay, no problem. So where are you located? What was that? Where are you located? Where are you right now? In the city? Yes, I'm up in New York City, NYC. You know. The Big Apple, like the one that I just laid. Uh, what's the address, sir? Yeah, 123rd. 127? Oh, I didn't say 127, I said 123rd. 123, 123rd. Oh, 123, okay. So That's correct. Right Damn it, man. You gotta get on the ball there. Listen, 123 Steinway Street. Steinway Street. That's correct. Now listen, the thing is, it's a, it's a big amusement park full of like all kinds of rides. Maybe you could take down the rides while the children are still on them, just to show that I mean business, you know? Okay. I also want to get my neighbor's car removed. He threw rice at my son, and I just got very angry at him, and I want to get his Lexus removed. Okay. Alright, you th now do you also remove cars? You do remove cars. Okay, I want to get his car towed. One time he parked up in my driveway. I smashed his windows with a brick. I just want to get him out of here. So maybe you can come down with the tow truck and remove his car and dump it somewhere in the middle of the ocean or something like that. Okay, no so, sir, okay, how much do you think this project is going to be? Okay, and, 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 uh, uh, I want to make sure that, uh, I guess it's right, sir. Yeah, this is 123 Selway Street. That's correct. Selway, uh, can you spell Selway, please? S-T-E-I-N. Okay. Oh, okay. Damn it, it's like talking to a scrap of metal. Yes, I said S. Okay, S-T? Yes, S as in salt, T as in titties, like what my wife doesn't have, E as an elephant, like what my wife calls me, I is an I don't know what the fuck kind of word to give you for I, N as in no way, ma'am, get that food away from me, it's burnt, W as in way, A as in ass, and Y as in why the hell can't you spell? Okay. Okay, uh, okay, uh, are you in Brooklyn or Manhattan? No, I'm in Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. Okay. And what, what's, what's your name, sir? My name is Ed, Ed Grosso. Do you need me to spell that out, too? No, 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 sir, no, no. Uh, what's your name again? Okay, E as in elephant, D as in dysfunction, like my male organ, okay? G uh, as in gross, and then add an O to the end of that. Can you manage that? Josh fucking, would you uh, say the name is? Uh, say that again. Uh, the company is Josh Shulkin. All right, Josh Groban, great. No, 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 Jack, 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 J A C Q U E, uh, Jack Shulkin. Okay, Jack's fucking. All right, great. Now listen, I don't want to get into any type of law problems. I don't think this is very against the law, but what I want you to do is uh, I'm going to explain exactly what I want you to do. Are you ready? Okay. Do you have a pen and paper available? Yes. Are you sure about that? Yes. Make sure that pen doesn't run out of ink, because then there's going to be a problem personally between me and you. Now listen. Okay. okay. Now it's an amusement park. It's in a it's in an old lot, and there's a bunch of like little rides and like you know, it's a basically a little carnival. Do you know what a carnival is? All right. Cool. Right, it's it's like a merry-go-round and a Ferris wheel and all of that stuff. I want you to go in there and take all of that stuff. I want you to dismantle the Ferris wheel while it's still moving in midair. Is what I want you to do. You want the Ferris wheel to be 
movement? That's correct. That's exactly what I want. Can you manage that? Yes, yes we can. We, we have that sounds work. great. I like where this goes. Okay, now also, there's a merry-go-round. Do you know what a merry-go-round is? Yes, correct. Okay, I want you to go up, I want you to maybe knock out the employee that's working behind it, and I want you to speed it up. I want you to make it go at least 140 miles per hour. Do you think you can do that? And then repossess it while it's still spinning. You think you can do that? While it's spinning? Yes, while it's spinning. While it's spinning? Oh, Doug, I, I, I've never heard of that. Hey, listen, so I'll do that. Do while it's, oh, while it's Yes, now listen, here's another thing I want you to do. There's also a roller coaster, alright? I want you to maybe bend the metal track of the roller coaster so while the kids are going all around it that it flies off the track and into some guy's, you know, broken down Oldsmobile or something like that. I don't know. But I want you to do that and then repossess whatever's left of the track. Take all that metal away and, you know, shove it up some guy's ass or something like that. Do you think you can repossess that as well? Sir, I do not joke over the phone. I'm a very busy man. McDonald's has a lot to offer for me. This is what you just told me. You're a serious man, right? I'm a very you're serious me. man. You want me to move some? You want me to move a carousel or let it go around? Make sure it goes up to 140 miles per hour, and then. That's exactly what I said, and that is so scientifically correct that it's not even. So, did you ever study physics? You, you study physics? That's right. I'm a physics major. I also teach physics. All right, so I'll, I'll come see the job. Let's see what they're saying. What you're speaking of? Well, the thing is, do you understand? It's an entire carnival. It's got about three hundred. That's what you're. Oh, all right. It's got about 370 people that are at it right now. I just want to go in there right now where everybody's at the rides and if you maybe plow through a couple people in the parking lot and just start, you know, taking stuff down. You think you can help me with that? Yeah, that I can help you with. So, All right, maybe, listen, just maybe for, maybe to make us look like we mean business, maybe you could run a couple people down with the truck. Do you think you can do that? Telling me to run people down with the truck. Yeah, yeah, hopefully nobody will see, but the people that do see will know that we mean business and they'll get out of our way, if you know what I mean, you know? Yeah, that, that definitely makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Once again, someone needs to study physics. Now listen, uh, can you also, what kind of metal, uh, what's the biggest type of metal that you can possibly take down? All right, because I was thinking maybe you take down the beams in my neighbor's basement so his house falls apart. Do you think you can maybe do that? Are you serious? I'm very serious, man. I don't joke around with this type of stuff. I need a man that I can trust. Can I trust you, metal removal man? What was that? There's more, there's more metal on a rocket. You, you don't think we should go to NASA and take down a building? What are you talking about? I didn't tell you to build me a rocket or anything like that. I have a rocket scientist for that. He's called my son. Sir. All right, now listen. Here's what the next... All right, here's the other thing that I need you to do. Sir, I'm very serious. What is your problem? I sense an attitude right now. I'm calling you as a respectable businessman. Hey! God damn it!